Hey guys, welcome back to Cop Tool. I'm Rob, alongside me is Sarah, and this is what happened this week in the world of power tools. Skill Builder makes a scarf while Nick picks your pocket. Dorsum finally comes back from MPS, and Tool Pig lets a pair of bulldogs fight it out. Those stories and more coming up next. This is your Cop Tool Week in Review. We start this week the way God intended with Clint, Mountain Dew, and a new power tool. Clint decides the tool review zone needs a bit of grease and turns to the new Ryobi 18 volt cordless grease gun to get the job done. And the stakes couldn't be higher. It's either balls to the wall or none at all. If you're looking for 10,000 PSI of greasy goodness, either head to White Castle or visit the tool review zone on YouTube. Vince and the VCG crew love to dig deep into a manual when trying out a new tool or gadget, exactly like I do. You've never read a manual in your life. It's my turn. This week, he tries out the new DeWalt Quick Connect Impact Chuck and in the process discovers that DeWalt recommends using baking grease while drilling through metal. So while I may not have a drill with me or a chuck or a bit or even metal, I now feel like I need to eat bacon all weekend. Thanks, Vince. Check out the new chuck at VCG Construction on YouTube. I have no idea why it's never occurred to me, but why aren't we like the Bacon Week in Review? Just focus, it's too late for that now. No, honestly, like we could review all the cool bacon videos, that'd be sweet. Anyways, Brent left behind his podcast booth to show us a new set of insulated hand tools from Fluke, which is a brand. People mess that up all the time. Okay, they actually do, like TVB did a review of some of their tools recently, and like three people in the comments all said, why do you say the company's just a Fluke? Anyways, so Brent points out that Fluke is well known for their test instruments, but found this new set of hand tools to be of equal quality of their other offerings. You can get a better look at them at Tool Pros Podcast on YouTube. Once in a while, your timber just isn't long enough, and while there are several solutions, this week Robin from Skill Builder decided to show us all how to make a scarf joint like a pro. Using only a Hakoki Cirque saw, a drill, and a hammer, he built a solid, reliable joint that's strong enough to support two sparring Englishmen, or here in the States, a single bag of Burger King. To find out if the joint holds up or learn how to make one yourself, head over to Skill Builder on YouTube. This Sunday is Father's Day. Time to finally give us dads the recognition we deserve for bringing all these kids into the world. Or we could just check in with Rob Robillard, who's taking a break from actual work this week to tell us what it means to him to be a dad. Hey guys, with Father's Day just around the corner, I wanna share with you some thoughts on what it means to me to be a dad. It's transitioning from someone who was selfish to someone who is now selfless. It's knowing that your kids are watching everything you say and do. It means making mistakes along the way and thinking that you've ruined your kids' lives in the process, only to discover that they are way more resilient than you think. It requires you to remember that once upon a time, you did the same selfish, stupid things that kids are doing today, and yet we survived. It requires you to be as skilled with a spatula as you are now with a hammer, and most importantly, it is at the same time the scariest endeavor and the greatest achievement of my life by far. To all the fathers at Cop Tool Week in Review, happy Father's Day. Thanks, Rob. Now, if you've watched all 44 of our MPS 19 videos we posted last week, mom, and you still haven't had your fill of Big Red, then Dorsum has you covered. He somehow managed to cover the entire event in a short 11 minutes, making me wonder why we bothered to show up at all. His comment section is brimming with the opinions of both Milwaukee fans and the enemies alike. So, if you're anxious to tell us how we should feel about the new tools from Wisconsin, I suggest you head over to Dorsoon Tool Reviews on YouTube. Father's Day is this weekend, so for my project of the week, I needed to find the most epic manly dad gift ever. And obviously, I ended up on Jimmy DeResta's YouTube channel and fell in love with this scissor lift barbecue that he made. Now, if you're trying to decide what multi-process welder to buy or what barbecue would look the coolest on your deck, be sure to check out his video at Jimmy DeResta on YouTube. Now, I kind of feel bad. All we got my dad was a steel chainsaw. Oh, I want one of those. Okay, well, if you have a project or find a project that you think I should feature on the show, send it to me in an email at projects at coptool.com. Thank you, Sarah. Before we go, let's pick out some of our favorite Instagram posts this week. I'll start with Travis over at Tools by Design, who featured one of Skill's new PowerCore 12 volt, five and a half inch Cirque saws, demonstrating just how much power Skill was able to get out of a 12 volt battery and of a stock blade, no less. Built by Brad in Buffalo was using his Empire Speed Square as the perfect spacer while fastening his deck, until... Go! 
Toolpig and Clark Concrete Construction decided to race the legendary Bosch Bulldog against the new cordless Bulldog. And once again, Bosch flexes its combination of its new electric motor and bigger battery cells and completely smokes the corded version. It's a great time to be alive if you need to drill holes in concrete, like really fast and without a cord. Woo! And finally today, Nick DePlumber showed off his reliable Stabila Torpedo level and proposed the question, what's your pocket level of choice? If you've got a favorite, you can go argue about it with Nick on Instagram. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us this week. But before we go, Rob, do we actually have a giveaway this week? So we do. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys realize this, but by the time you're watching this episode on Friday, Sarah and I will actually be on a plane back from Texas that's from right. a three day long Hilti event, which we're very excited about. So to celebrate all that coverage before you even get to see it, Hilti has provided us with an Hilti PDS laser range meter and a bag to go with it. And they promised some various Hilti swag things. Hilti as swag. Well. <laughs> That's right. So, which is like 80% of the reason we're going to Texas to get Hilti it's swag. Just the swag, right? That's why I'm going. They also have very awesome tools that we haven't really covered a lot of yet. So we're excited about that. But anyways, to get entered, we want you to go down to the comments, either on Facebook or on YouTube. And we want you guys to give us suggestions on where you think we should travel next as a show. Any company, any event that you think we need no. to go to and cover, let me know. Is there any manufacturers in Hawaii? Uh, no, but I'm pretty sure I'm they have sure? materials in Hawaii oh, that you could yeah. use tools on. Yeah, so you just... That's an event. Event in we'll Hawaii. We'll make it an event. Yeah. All right. So never mind. I don't need your comments. We're going to Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. Probably not. All right, so let us know in the comments below. Thank you, Ohio Power Tool and Hilti, for sponsoring the show. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. We'll see you next week.